He is a two-time Rock and Roll Hall of Famer and one of the best-selling music artists of all time. He returns to his residency at Caesars Palace tonight and then kicks off his North American summer tour in June. I can't believe he came here. Rod Stewart is over here. That was the best monologue, mate. Best monologue. It was so oh, fun. Oh, thank you. Wasn't that the best monologue? I'd tell you. All right. Well. Yeah. Well, I see, to, I see you haven't sold out. We're <laughs> so here to seats. We're here to talk. That's for COVID. Oh, I was telling you about it. Uh, we're here to talk about you. This is a big night for you. You're starting your big world tour for 2022, and you're in Caesar's Palace. Thank you so much. You're, 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 thank you. Because you got to, like, fly out of here. You're on stage tonight, tonight at Caesars yeah, Palace. Yeah. Well, they put it back. Usually I go on stage at 7.30. They put it back to 8.30. But Whoa. I still have to do sound check, check all the girls' costumes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's... Well, let's be honest, Greg. The show really doesn't start till you get there. It, well, it doesn't, but I don't want to be late. I no. don't like to well, keep my customers waiting. I, 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 well... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rock stars are known for keeping audiences waiting. What is your history of that over the years? Were you pretty prompt with your concerts? Yeah, always. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, first of all, it's people who paid a lot of money. They've got babysitters, hired cars right. and bicycles, or whatever, and they get there on time. Yeah. You don't want to keep them waiting. You want to get out there okay. before you're supposed well, to go on I, to keep them happy. That's great, because that's not what most rock stars do. Well, that's that's their business. It's not me. Oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Great. And and how long is the show that you do? Tonight will be uh, about an hour and a half, but we're only allowed to do an hour and a half at Caesar's Palace because they get you off the stage. Right, because they, they, want... They, they want you. To, they want everyone to go back into the yes. old, you know. Yes, they spend the money exactly. <laughs> and but on the road, it's a little more if you're not at uh, a gambling casino. Uh, oh yeah, we play two hours fifteen. That's amazing. What was it when you started? Because like, you know what the Beatles did when they were touring? 15 minutes? 25. Yeah, that's what we used to do, yeah. It's a, yeah. That's nuts. No, it is nuts. And, it's, it's, and here you are all these years later. I mean, I have your latest album. I'm so glad you went back to making an album and new material. Yeah. It's fantastic. The <laughs> Hercules album, you sound the same. Oh. You haven't lost anything. Do I, uh, do I look the same? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, your hair is. You know, you know, you know, I don't know how you do that. Do you know what the, the Queen of England and I have got in common? We've both had the same haircuts for 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember when I first came out here in 1983, I'd never been here and I never saw a palm tree. And I looked and I went, oh, it looks like Rod Stewart's head. <laughs> it does. The, the, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it does, yeah. But, but I'm, you're, you're... I'm eternally grateful it's still up no, there. No, unbelievable. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Don't you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> and the, your show is called The Hits at the University, yeah. which is fantastic. I mean, that's, the, that's what people want to see. Oh, of course, yeah. And, and very few people in music have 90 minutes or two hours of just the hits. You so do. Hits. Yeah. I mean, I've seen you in concert, and there's no good time to go to the bathroom. No, absolutely. That's, you should put that on the sign. Rod That's Stewart. Right. You'll never want to go to the bathroom. Tour. <laughs> tour. You yeah. never want to go to the bathroom, tour. Yeah. But, you know, I always say my idols were, you know, Sam Cooke and Otis Redding and Muddy mm. Waters, all the old really great black singers. If I went to see them, I would want to hear their hits. I don't hear any new stuff, really. Right. No, That's I think I try that's and give my crowd. And, you know, you, you, over the years, have been a sort of equal opportunity recorder of your own material or other people. You did a lot of covers. But I was going through the stuff, and, like, all the big ones, you know, Maggie May, and You Wear It Well, and Hot Legs, and Do You Think I'm Sexy, and Tonight's the Night, and, you know, you, those were your songs. I yeah. feel like you, as a songwriter, needs a better publicist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Right? Yeah, it, I don't think... The, great, the greatest publishers, publishers are the people that buy the records. 
Yes. They're the ones make, they make but a I don't big think, hit singles. I don't think that people think of you as a songwriter as much as no, you I are. No, I think it's what I look like, you know, look. Well. <laughs> I, what else could I have been but a rock star, you know I, what I mean? No. I brought you something Ooh. that... that I, it's been uh, hanging around my house for 51 years. <gasps> oh, my God. That's my... Uh, and it smells old, too. <laughs> that's, is it, is it's it, Maggie May. That's amazing. I bought that when I was 15. No. Well, yeah, how do you think I got it? it Did you, he was 15 when he right, bought this. Right. I, I, was, I was 26. I know, but how does it feel? Do you feel anything when you see an artifact like that that uh, is about something that was so important in your life? Yeah, it, when it went to number one, in the UK and America. I remember I was driving through London and it came on the radio and it was number one. I just turned my car around and went back to my mum and dad's little house and gave them the biggest kiss and they were all crying. <laughs> Ros made it at last. And... And that, that song, I mean, this uh, bitterness that you had about Maggie May, you know, I don't want to see your face anymore, and, you know, the morning sun really makes you look old. I mean, it's some nasty it fucking yeah. stuff in there. Yeah. It, 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 it is. Really Bill. nasty. About it is. It, it really is, and it's, it's but, nearly a true story. Um, it but, was my first shag. But, first but, but, <laughs> but, yeah. but, lasted about four seconds. But with a nasty stain on the floor. 